Welcome to Zero Plus channel. Today we want to create a pineapple seamless pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, for first step we want to create a new document. Go to File, New, and select a custom size 850 in N. 800, 850 pixel. Okay, artboard one and set color mode to RGB color. Okay, create. Now we want to create a tiny segment that makes up most of pineapple. Okay, so let or remove stroke color and change the fill color to. 239 for R and 177 for G and 3 for blue. Okay, the color here. Now take a rounded rectangle tool and create a very small rounded rectangle. Okay. Select, uh, hold Alt and Shift in keyboard, okay, for this. Draw like this. Align to center of artboard. Okay, select align. Oh, we don't have option for align. So, uh, from a panel setting, check show options. Okay, align to artboard and vertically and horizontally center to artboard. Now, okay. Now, zoom in. And around the corner, okay. I think uh, okay. Now uh, uh, hold shift and rotate for uh, forty five. Okay, okay, very good. Now. Uh, copy from this shape control c and control f and move here and change the color to lighter lighter okay hold shift okay and change color to 255 for r 200 for g and 32 for B. Okay, this lighter than this color. Now move uh, this front of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have two shapes uh, with uh, two colors: darker or lighter. Okay. Check. Okay. Darker, lighter. Align center. Okay. That's good. Now draw uh, uh, two circles with any full color. Okay. Select a different color and select lapis tool. Okay. Move to here. Yeah. Scale, scale. Scale it. And Control C, Control F. Okay. We want a shape like this. Okay. So change the position of circle 
to take uh, the shape, okay? I think is okay. Okay, so like two circles and from Pathfinder, uh, Pathfinder, select Unite. Okay, okay. Now select front shape and circle and select from Pathfinder minus front. Okay, very good. Now we have a shape like this with two colors in it, darker and lighter. Okay, very good. Now we created a segment of pineapple. Okay, now select whole object and control G to group. Now scale it. Okay. View smart guide. Okay, smart guides on. Um, now we want to create uh, copies of this uh, shape, okay, by Ctrl D and Ctrl C, okay. We can scale a bit larger okay change it okay now control c control f and uh, align to oh yeah line to key object this and set to uh, 10 pixel and less seven I think okay and now Control <clears throat> Control uh, C and F Control C F Okay and select two item align key object select okay the S space between uh, uh, shapes is a goal okay now select Select to align key object again. We want to create six copies of this shape. Okay. Okay. Another copies okay now one row is uh, created select control G and control C control F move to down Okay, and select, select, line key object, key, and seven. Okay, now move, move to this, for like this. Okay, we want here, zoom in. I think this space is... Okay, okay, now uh, repeat this 
S steps. Select two, control C, control F. Control C, control F. Control C, control F. Control C, control F. Select this row, control C, control F. Okay, I think the copies are okay and control C, control F like this. Okay, very good. The pattern for pineapple is okay. Now select all of them, control G. Now select and go to effect. Wrap and fish eye. Okay. And set the settings to 60. Fish eye and horizontal look okay. Okay. We have a good effect for a pattern. Now, uh, now we want to uh, create uh, the pineapple shape, okay, the body. So uh, uh, select a rounded rectangle tool, change the color, shift to 204 for R, 130 for G, and 0 for B. Okay, now draw a uh, draw shape. Okay, change. Okay, select align to artboard. Okay, and select align to art. Okay, now uh, we want to round maybe more round. Okay. Okay, and select, go to effect, wrap and inflate. To 20. Okay, I think it's maybe it's okay. Control Z and yes, and again. Effect, wrap, inflate. Okay, I think now as well. Select, go to object, and expand, expand appearance. Okay, you can see a blue highlight border not around the shape. Okay, select object, expand appearance. Now is okay. And uh, we have all uh, these uh, four uh, segments. Select segment, object, expand appearance. Very good. Okay. Now we want to create a copy of this uh, body, pineapple apple shaped body. Okay. Control C, Control F, and move another to back. Okay. Ooh, yeah, uh, shape. Or two, we have two copies of pineapple shape. 
one to back of the segment and another to front okay select alignment very good now select shape shift and segment go to pathfinder and select crop okay you can see the crop Pineapple's body now is okay, and we need to create uh, some leaves to our pineapple. Okay, okay. For draw leaves, uh, we need a ellipse tool, and first uh, change the color of veil to 48 for R 158. For G and 131 for blue. Okay, now draw a shape like this. Okay. Now go to Select Anchor Point Tool or Shift C and click on top and bottom Anchor. Okay, so like this, click on top and bottom Anchor Point. We can uh, select Ctrl C, Ctrl F and change the color to darker R1 107 for G and 87 for uh, blue okay Select two item and I think is okay or down or it select two items flying to the key object yes but okay Very good. Now select two leaves or two shapes and Ctrl G and uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl F because we want two leaves. And select new copy and go to effect, wrap and arc. Okay. Select vertical and bend to 40 and 00. zero. Okay. Uh, there, yeah, as you see, highlight blue border, not around the shape. Okay. And now we need to go object, expand appearance. Very good. So now we have two leaves. Okay. And uh, change the position to the right position. Leaves, scale, scale, leaves. Arrange to back. Okay. Arrange, send to back. Align to center. Very good. And now and resize, arrange, send to back.
okay right click transform reflect and vertical view okay okay now rotate around Okay, reflect again for second. Okay. Now select three leaves, control G to group, and let's okay. Okay, now control C, control F. Send back. Go enter uh, object. Select this point by direct selection. Oh. Okay. Okay. We can change here. Okay, and we want to change the color of body this darker. Darker to uh, zero, one hundred thirty three and one hundred six. Oh no. Okay. And for last leave, select dropper, select. Okay. Now the pineapple shape is ready. Now we want to create pattern from this pineapple, okay? So select all shape and control G. Now we want to uh, scale it. Now we want to create background, okay? Select uh, first uh, change the fill color to 249, 226, and 112. Okay, select rectangle tool, size to art size, 850 in 850. Okay, without any stroke, okay, select and align, and arrange and send to back. Okay, good. Okay, now to create pattern, select pineapple, go to object, pattern, and make. Okay, 
now check the settings uh, name uh, change to uh, pineapple pineapple pine apple pattern Let's change grid to brick by column okay now uh, this is the other you can change other uh, setting as you want okay now click down let select and from and from a swatch panel click pineapple pattern you can see that uh, my rectangle my back rectangle filled by or pattern okay finish good luck